What's going on? It's Angus of Boss Fitness and super excited to be sharing with you another personal recipe uh, which is one that I've just made up um, given the fact that it's pumpkin season currently upon filming this video. It is October coming up for Halloween and pumpkins are around in full swing um, which is what's brought me to create this um, awesome high protein pumpkin bread. Um, it's absolutely fantastic or I guess you call it pumpkin loaf whatever floats your boat but um, it's absolutely fantastic, very, very, very macro friendly. We're talking about 400 calories for an entire loaf. Um, this recipe that I'm gonna be taking you through makes two loaves, okay, so that you can split it between two cake tins and therefore either, in my sort of way, um, I have a whole loaf as a serving um, or if you want, you can chop it up and then obviously, you know, adjust accordingly in terms of the macros and calories. But I'm really excited to take you through this, okay? We're gonna go from start to finish. Uh, let, let's get stuck into it. Rightio, so here we have our uh, lovely pumpkin. So this is um, half a butternut pumpkin that's been mashed up. Um, what you can actually do for this, I've trialed it both ways where you actually boil the pumpkin um, and mash it up or actually roasting it and mashing it up. Uh, this variation here is the mashed up um, that's been cooked in the oven, all right? Um, I'll shift this aside. Obviously, we've got our scale so that we can weigh the shit that we're gonna be using. Um, we're gonna be using some psyllium husk. The idea of this is that it helps to act as a bit more of a binder, so we don't have to use a truckload of flour, um, but also to bump up the protein intake. I mean, sorry, the fiber intake. All right, we're gonna be using um, a little bit of that, about 20 odd grams or so. Uh, we're gonna be using an overripe banana. This one here you can see is um, just about past it, but in terms of making banana, I mean, sorry, pumpkin bread and whatever, it's really great for adding in there in in, instead of applesauce. We're gonna use a whole egg. We're gonna be using some, uh, some protein powder, some whey. Obviously, you can substitute that for some pea protein or whatever other whey you're using, but this is what I'm using currently at the moment. We're gonna be using some stevia. Um, this is obviously just for sweetener without any calories. Uh, we've got good old plain flour. We're gonna be using a bit of this in the, uh, in the recipe to make sure that it obviously tastes gym dandy and gives it that real sort of cakey loaf texture. And then our spices that we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using um, about a teaspoon's worth of cinnamon. We're gonna be using some all spice, okay? You'll see it there. And then we're also gonna be using some uh, good old mixed spice as well to give it all the zing and the zestiness that we want um, so that we've got that real nice pumpkin-y type taste and feel. All right, so this is our weapon arsenal. Um, let's put it all together and start making the mixture. Also note that uh, what I've done is I've pre-prepared two cake pans. So this is just a bit of baking paper, sprayed it with a teeny bit of um, oil spray. And then what we've also done before this as well is uh, we've preheated the oven. You know, you probably can't see. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, to 180, okay, just normal. And um, the green light is on, so that means that we are all good to start cooking. Let's get into it.
there we go. The mixture's looking good. It tastes amazing as well. Let's bomb these little bad boys in the oven, shall we? Now obviously we bombed it in there um, on 180. Um, what I'd suggest is that depending on your oven strength or whatever, um, cook it for maybe about 30 minutes and then obviously we'll use the old skewer to uh, check and see how it's looking, okay? 30 minutes. And there we go my friends, that is the sand that we want. Our pumpkin loaf is ready! So this is me after 35 minutes, I actually cooked it in, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is pull them out, we'll shove the skewer in and see how it's looking. Yeah, here we go, they're looking awesome. I don't even think we need a skewer for this. Um, so here we go. Um, this is how they turned out, the lovely beauties. Look at that, risen like a boss. How good. So there we go, as you can see, an amazing macro-friendly chopped protein pumpkin loaf. Um, I absolutely love making that, so easy, super duper easy to make, and um, so it doesn't really take very long at all. Um, and uh, obviously with these, understand that you can pip it up a bit more if you wanted to, you could easily substitute different things and change it, but um, this is just something that I've fine tuned over time, I find that it works great for me, it tastes absolutely awesome. When I eat it, I like to chop it up, um, have a bit of PB2 spread on top, some strawberries or some M&Ms, it's absolutely fantastic. Remember, the whole thing is only 400 calories per loaf, okay? So when it comes to actually fat loss and um, you know just healthy lifestyle in general, um, you know usually what I like to rock out with is just how can I eat as much as possible for as fewer amount of macros and stuff as possible. So that way, obviously, you want to be feeling as full as you can when it comes to meeting meeting your sort of calorie intake and whatever. Um, and uh, little hacks like this are what make the journey so much more easier and so much more enjoyable as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, okay? And, and remember to feel free to subscribe to the Boss Fitness YouTube channel for more recipe videos, um, nutrition knowledge bombs, and all the good stuff, all right? See you in the next video. Until next time, Angus signing out. Catch ya.